Hello guys, uh, great tutorials here uh, with a new tutorial for you guys and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to sync uh, like uh, sync stuff in my uh, in my episode uh, but in this episode I'm going to show you with uh, CC Live Burst and this is what we're going to make like when he shoots uh, the a flash or whatever I don't know what it's called but I like a, a light burst comes and I think it looks uh, pretty sexy <laughs> and pretty nice so that's what I'm going to be showing you so uh, first of all uh, in my CS5 I didn't have this effect and um, so I was I I downloaded something uh, if you don't have the CC effects like CC lens if you don't if you don't have it or like some other CC stuff but uh, if you don't have me just uh, PM me or just comment because uh, you should have pretty much CC effects yeah so what you want to do is just uh, uh, I have uh, some color correction that's why it looks pretty nicer um, but you want to import your clip and you want to go to layer new adjustment layer I'm just going to delete this really quick okay so I, I have only my uh, looks uh, my CC so what you wanna do is go to effects and presets search looks uh, or <laughs> looks um, CC light oh light burst 2.5 you wanna drag that into your adjustment layer and you see you get this effect already but you wanna go to ray length and put it to zero and then you wanna first, uh, if you're syncing with a song, then you just uh, go to go to the song speed or whatever. Um, but I'm just syncing the gunshots or when he shoots. So here is when he shoots. And uh, what you wanna do is just click the real land. Uh, and yeah, by the way. Um, I usually take the in intensity to about 150 finger looks but it's your own option you don't need to but okay so uh, then you can click U on your keyboard uh, to bring up the keyframes and then you wanna go about one two three three or four keyframes and then go to ray length and put it to about 60% so get this you can take 50 if you like it more yeah well I think 6, 60 is pretty nice so and then you just hold control shift and your arrow keys uh, to the left so then you go and 10 frames and you wanna go 30 so 1 2 3 and then drop a then drop a keyframe but you wanna go to the ray length and put it to 0 and then highlight them and F9 as usual and then just go then just highlight them and control C to copy them and then go to the next shot up there and then control V to paste it to do the same effect again and then go to the third or fourth shot and then paste it again like so yeah so I think this effect is pretty nice I use, use it a lot but 
if you don't have it just message me because I didn't have it either and I have a CS5 but yeah so it's gonna run through this really quick and um, yeah <laughs> please request like tutorials you wanna see next time cause I'm getting I'm running out of uh, ideas and stuff. Uh, if you wanna see more syncing, like sync with effects, just tell me, please. And yeah, I will try to bring you tutorials. Okay, it's almost done. Yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. Yeah. If you want to do some changes, just you can just go to your this like burst, and you can take the burst to straight or center. But I think fade looks good. You can turn up the intensity even more. You can do a lot of stuff with this effect. So yeah, so please leave a like and a comment and tell me what you thought about this effect so um yeah bye guys